And now it's time for Humber Reviews with Willie be a hobo. Tonight's review, The Wizard of Oz. Oh my god, this is the best moment I've ever seen in my whole life! Oh, we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of spoilers! There's this girl named Dorothy who lives with a dog named Toto and they live in Kansas. No, I'm serious, Mama. The only thing more popular in Kansas than basketball, Mama, is the fucking Wizard of Oz, Mama. So anyways, they're in Kansas and they live in one of those... Well, what do you expect? Since they're in Kansas and it's nothing but plains, Mama, and we're talking about the 30s and 40s at the time, Mama. It's a farm! So then... There's a big twister that hits Kansas, because they are in Tornado Alley, per se. Although Missouri's in the heart of Tornado Alley. So Kansas is one state to the left of it, which means it's right on the cutting edge of Tornado Alley. I'm losing my thought. Anyways, Dorothy spins and spins and spins and spins. She sees a wonderful lady riding her bike, except she turns into the Wicked Witch of the West. Boom. And then when the house lands, not only does it land on top of that same witch who gets splat, except for the slippers, it then turns the entire movie into Technicolor, which was an amazing development at the time. Anyways, Dorothy then replies, Well, Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Well, shucks. So then he discover she discovers the Wicked Witch of the North. Who is not too wicked. It's more of the fact that she's a queen than a witch. She, I don't know why they call her the witch of the north when she looked nothing like a witch. She looks more like the queen of England. Actually, not even the queen of England. Just some random queen. Anywho, she tells Dorothy that they must follow the yellow brick road. You know, follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. So they do follow the yellow brick road. There they encounter the Scarecrow, who needs a brain. Oh, shucks, if I only had a brain. Then they run into the Tin Man, who, go figure, is like a fucking robot because he has no heart. And he needs a heart. If I only had a heart and a brain. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. And they discover the cowardly lion. And by golly, does he look cowardly the way they dressed him up. <laughs> But that's beside the point. Anyways, he's looking for courage. So, they're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz, to go home, to find a brain, to find a heart, to find some courage. Although we never figured out what the hell Toto was, but then again, we can't speak dog. Anyways, they run into the Wicked Witch of the West. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. And she tries to thwart their plans to get to the Wizard of Oz. So, they go through the sleepy field, which makes her sleep. Although, for some strange reason, the scarecrow, the tin man, and the lion don't sleep on my mind. That's freaking odd as hell. Anyways, that slows him down, but doesn't really stop them. They get all the way to Emerald City, and they find Oz. I am Oz. No spoiler at the end. I'm going to give it away right now. It's not really as powerful as I think it is, but wait for the ending for that. So anyways, they have to kill the Wicked Witch of the West in order to get home and get their demands. So what do they do? They go and attack the Wicked Witch of the West. The Wicked Witch of the West uses fire because, well, monkeys flying, flying monkeys just don't seem to do the trick. So after that fail, she uses fire torches the scarecrow, and just when she's about to torch him and torch him and torch him to death, Dorothy puts out the fire by dumping water on not only the uh, broom, but the witch as well. Which for some reason causes the witch to melt. I'm melting! Melting! The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! I'm melting! What a world! Anyways, they killed the wicked witch of the West, and get their demands. Or so they think they're going to get their demands. 
Oz says, no, you will not get demands. Not on my watch. Not while I'm all great and powerful. Except he's not really that great and powerful. It's just a guy pretending to be all great and powerful. Hiding in the curtains. And so then after they discover the secrets of the Wizard of Oz. And he's not really that powerful at all that night. He's just a simple human being after all. He finally decides, you know what? Dorothy, I'm going to give you the ruby red slippers to get you home. Tin Man, you get the heart. Scarecrow, you get the academic degree to prove that you have a brain. And the lion gets a medal of honor. Of courage. Seriously, the scarecrow gets a fucking diploma? How the hell does that give him a fucking brain? Anywho, Dorothy has to tap his slippers three times. Like so. What, 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 what? Like that. So then she then says, I wish I was home. 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 And it turns out that the whole thing is a fucking dream. I am dead serious. All of that is a waste of time because it's a freaking dream. Except it's definitely a waste of a time. It's actually a fun adventure until you discover the ending and then you're like, what a waste of time. But even so, I love this movie because it's a timeless classic and by golly do I enjoy timeless classics. This is really me almost saying... Rubber slippers! Rubber slippers! I come on up a cow, will ya? Come on, rubber slippers! Come on! I wanna go home so I can relive my buddies! I miss them!